here after um, four years of Princeton, I see this team come here with, with a program uh, known for me, you know, I have, I have one being left, toward the top of, of the country. Kind of, what was the, the recruiting process like? You talked to Michael, and what do you bring to this program that may not have been here a year ago? Yeah, okay. Um, so, when I entered the transfer portal, Michael was the first person to call me, first coach, within an hour of me entering the portal. and. That just spoke volumes to me. Um, showed him, showed me that I just wasn't a name in the portal. You know, there's a lot of guys in the portal. He he knew my game going back to high school, playing with Paul McKay. He, um, and it was, it was a no-brainer. Um, I love New Jersey. I'll, I rep the uh, I'll rep New Jersey the day I die. Um, so to come back here, play in front of a gym like this, fans like this. Uh, yeah, I committed within a week. So it was a quick decision. Um, so I think for me it's and just, just I, uh, I really love this I'm excited just to be a vocal leader, play hard. Um, I like to do all the dirty work, bring the intangibles, and just kind of uh, relay that to our teammates. We got a young group here. So you played against these guys last year. How, how much did that help you go into the process of knowing what to expect and how much you fear your skill set? Oh. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't weigh that too heavily. Um, I think it obviously helped that uh, the coaching staff got to see me play uh, in person. So that was great. Um, but I, I mean, I think just the type of player I am, uh, got a pretty vanilla game, just stand in the corner, shoot when, I'm, well, shoot when I'm open, crash the offensive glass, play hard. So I think I can adapt to the most, uh, most systems. So. How's, the, how's the transition from Princeton to Rutgers been here? Uh, it's been great so far. Um, just a few miles up Route One, so um, yeah, it, it's it's been awesome. Uh, the resources they, they pump in here to athletics is second to none. Uh, they take care of us in every facet. So, Zach, you were named a captain before even playing the game here at Rutgers. What does that mean to you, and how have you taken advantage of that role? Um, I, I I think it means uh, it means a lot to me. It's obviously a great honor, but. Um, while you know there's there's two captains, Jeremiah and myself, uh, I, I think this team we feel comfortable uh, having everyone lead. When when, when we when, when we break it down before practice, uh, and every well, Jay will will say, hey, it's, it's Bryce Torch's turn today, and uh, he'll he'll re really relay his message to the team. So. It's a, uh, it's an ongoing process, and we're all we're all working together to, to lead. Uh, there's not just two leaders, and I think Jeremiah and myself make that clear. Um, you know. You've now been around them for a month. What what's impressed you the most about them as, as players and the team? Um, I think uh, going into this, we we all knew what. They're, they're, they're raw, they're talented players, and there's nothing denying that. Um, but they're, 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 just, they're so coachable, and they're, they're willing to improve, and they know when they're, when they're vulnerable, and it's, uh, it's an honor to play alongside them, and it's, it's been great to be a leader amongst them. Um, yeah, they're, just, they're, they're hungry to defend, they're hungry to learn, and they, they, they rejuvenate an old guy like me. That they, they're, just always, they're always bringing great energy, and uh, their energy is contagious along these guys, along the team. Honestly, it's been, you know, to be honest with you, for me, it's, I, I care about that team. I don't really care where I am. I could honestly go anywhere and play. So for me, it's just like, I really love the college basketball. Experience side. Yeah, I, I like, like you said, experience wins. Um, got came from a, came from a program where uh, the standard was winning the Ivy League championship, and um, that's hard to do. Uh, three years in a row, three Ivy League championships. So just to, and I'm never going to compare the Ivy League to the Big Ten, um, but I know what it takes to win, and winning is hard, and there's sacrifices that have to come along that way. And I think a big thing that we'll realize going into the season is that roles are important. And I think that was one thing we knew at Princeton was just what roles each person had on the team. And like one thing that I want to tell everyone is do what you do really well and just bring that strength to the team. Um, and I think from there, 
to the sky's the limit for us. Um, to be honest, I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Why was that Yeah. 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 Uh, not not every day you got to play with two future lottery picks, um, and I'm not the type of guy who's going to demand. 10, 20 shots. If I shoot three shots a game, I shoot three shots. If I shoot five shots, I shoot five shots. Um, so, and it's, I don't know, I, I, I think that's just, there's a sense of maturity to that, um, to know that I'm not the star of the team, but I, I can I can be a star in other facets of the game, and I, I take pride in being someone who these young guys look up upon to help lead us through a grudge of a Big Ten season. Um, so that, that's, that's sexy to me. So. <laughs> You're the one guy here who's, who's seen what it takes to get to the, the second week of the NCAA tournament. Does yeah. this team have that ability to go deep into March? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, there, there's no doubt in my mind that um, I think it just starts with a, a great work ethic, 1 to one to 15. Uh, whenever I walk around here, someone's someone's working out, someone's trying to get better. And I think, we, I think a great thing about that is we love working out together. So. Um, Whenever I text Coach Knight to shoot, the next day, J Mike or Ace or D Harp, there are always going to be people there with me. So everyone's trying to get better, and um, everyone's just working hard. And we're young, right? Uh, there'll be some, there'll be some, uh, some bumps along the road, but. Uh, I guess that's interesting in college basketball today. Now it's so many senior leagues and so many teams even older than that. But right. Do you think it's, it's is it a challenge now to win when you've got your two guys are are, are, are that age? Is, is it a harder thing to do in college basketball? I don't I don't think so. I think we got a lot of veteran leadership uh, that knows how to win, um, and I think that's that's one of my strengths. And I think I can. You know, Ace, Ace and Dylan and Bryce and Lathan and DG, they haven't played college basketball yet, and they're great players, better players than I am, more talented than I am, but um, there's things you don't know. There's things they don't know just by not stepping on the college court yet. Um, so just for me, Jeremiah, PJ, Tyson, Jordan, all the upperclassmen to convey that knowledge to them, it'll... Uh, Pay off in dividends going down the line. Zach, what's your co-captain Jeremiah like behind the scenes? He's a guy we didn't really get to know very well until February because he couldn't play for a bit of different reasons. Yeah, he, he brings great energy all the time. Uh, I, I have a quick story from today. We we're playing four on four, and uh, I dribbled at Jordan Durkak, set him a screen, and uh, I forget we might have scored that position or not, but. Uh, Jeremiah pulled me over to the side. I was like, "Hey, I had Dylan Harper on me, like, but he he said that like I'm like I had him on me. I can, I can go get a, get a bucket on him. So like he's got this great confidence, great energy, um, and just always laughing, always in good spirits. It's it's good to be around him. I think we balance off each other well. I think that what Steve was talking about with leadership with you is a, that you wrote a book, which I think he's referring to your Princeton thesis. Right? I did. Yeah. 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 Was, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. So fill in the, uh, the details. Isn't David Lynch a part of that? It was. Yeah. yeah. It was strong. Strong. Uh, so I wrote about um, not to bore you, but I'll give you the, the quick summary. Um, it was an essay by Sigmund Freud called The Uncanny which is when things that are familiar seem unfamiliar, um, like a deja vu moment. So I wrote about that essay in relation to uh, David Lynch, who's a director. And I wrote about that essay in relation to three characters from three separate films. Um, so yeah, it was, I touched up upon Mulholland Drive, Blue Velvet, and um, Lost Highway, three of his films. I don't know if they're sprawling in, in terms of the topics. Yeah, yeah. You were an English major. Right? I was, I was. Yeah. Back on basketball now, um, uh, it was asked of you a little bit ago, but you chose Rutgers at a time where there was already commitments from two future NBA type players in Ace and Dylan mm -hmm. committed to this. There was already hype for this season, and you, yeah. you had that, that, that was obviously a factor you had to weigh. So, how much did you consider like what is what the special things that could happen at your state university when you made that choice? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just wanted to be there playing with them, playing alongside them. I mean, these two guys are studs. Um, how, how cool of an opportunity. Uh, I wasn't worried about 
playing time or shot selection or blah, blah, like just to be on the court with them, help them grow along amongst the season, uh, whatever, whatever I can wear off on them just to see how that happens. Um, so that was honestly the most exciting, was perfect time. How far do you think this team can go? Uh, I think, I mean, the sky's the limit. We got Final Four plans, we got Big Ten championship goals. So we're going to work hard every day to reach those goals. And, uh, yeah. Zach, in terms of versatility and accepting roles, uh, how much do you embrace the potential of playing the five role uh, with this team and yeah. you know, in the Big Ten after you've done it at Princeton some as well? Uh, I, I love that. I like that. That gets me going. Um, I love playing the five. Uh, it's six seven, but I mean, just got hard over height mentality. Um, and then you know, it's it's to, uh, on the offense on the, on the flip side, they got to come out on the perimeter mm -hmm. and. Uh, guard me but then what it really does is opens lanes for ace and dylan and jeremiah and j mike and jordan to get downhill um so it's a lot of fun of it but just to wrestle down low with those guys box them out prevent the low catch like that that's what i love to do get deflections um, i'm excited about that i know you love it as a player but how important do you think that is as a captain being able to you know embrace that type of role that you know showing the rest of your teammates when you're willing to do what it takes to, to win in terms of yeah yeah i mean I, I mean, just by that example, I mean, just going into college, I had no idea what position I'd be. Now, play the five, play the five. Just um, if things work, they're working. And if that's not what you wanted, so be it. Uh, if it leads to winning, that's what our goal is to win. So I'm not worried about anyone uh, worried about those sacrifices. And last question for me, just in terms of coaching, uh, Mitch Henderson, Steve Peichel, yeah. both very intense, competitive yeah. coaches. Uh -huh. What's kind of a common thread that you you've had with both of them? Um, high energy people, high individual, high energy individuals, but very different ways though. Um, Mitch, Mitch has his idiosyncrasies, his uh, Pete Carrill-esque wear it off on him. Um, Coach, Coach Peichel is let's go, let's go, claps, claps, in your, uh, in your face, but um, it's 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 fun to and the that energy is contagious. So. I'm squeezing two questions. The last one's really important. Yeah. The first question is, as a captain of this team, when you see prognostications to put you guys in the middle or the back of the league, what do you think of that? What do you say to these guys about it? We're not worried about that. I mean, we're on on the road. It's just us. It's Rich, our trainer. It's DVD, our strength coach. It's Miss Randy. Um, so we're all we got going into it. Um, I mean, there's gonna be there's, there's gonna be good things on Twitter. There's gonna be bad things on Twitter. Just to be where our feet are, stay level. I think that's one thing I can convey, and Jeremiah can convey to people. Um, if anything, it's fuel of the fire. So.